I really wish that this was Jurassic Park. Can you that imagine sounds great. being here when the dinosaurs lived here? That would be so we'll get this for freaking for cool. <laughs> We are here at Waipio Valley. The view so far is absolutely incredible. And the sun's rising. It's a gorgeous day. So this, this road down to the bottom of the valley is so steep that Abby and I are walking in switchbacks to help make it less painful on our knees. Shirts are coming off now. It's getting, We're getting hot. humid in here. Yeah. Abby drank a coffee before we went on this hike, so she said her stomach. I drink a latte and it's making it's butter in my stomach. Dude, my legs are itchy. My legs are itchy too, I don't know why. My legs are itching so bad, I literally need to take my pants off. I wonder what that is. Ah. Wow, we're like straight up in the rainforest right now. This makes me want to crack open a coconut. Yeah. And drink it. I'm not Back trying to, to be stupid, but I really wish that this was Jurassic Park. Okay, that is stupid because you'd probably die right now. We don't have any weapons with the with herbivores. Us. With the, okay, herbivores. I would agree. If we're in the herbivore section, Can you that sounds great. Being here when the dinosaurs lived here. Oh my god. That would be so. We'll get this for freaking for, cool. That's beautiful. Holy moly. Look at this. I want to just capture this smell. This smell is amazing. And bottle it up. Wow. I hope they don't try to eat us. Well, we reached the end of our road. This I is where we this plan to stop anyway. So now we're gonna head to the Black Sand Beach, which is all the way back, and then we'll have to go towards the beach area. But we're literally in like the rainforest right now. Absolutely incredible. There's not that many people out here either. We had to stop for a little bit because Abby got scared of the horses, but. Uh, okay. But we're getting Sorry, out. when I see massive wild animals, I'm not just about to go and smack their butts. Oh my gosh. Those waves are crashing down hard. We're not going to get in the those water. Those are huge waves. Let's get over here. Look at Someone's this. Who's in the water, bro? Who is? Is there someone in there? And so it begins. Our ascent back up to the top, and we're already huffing and puffing. How do you feel, babe? I feel bad for complaining about the way down. It's 1.2 miles, and you're going over a thousand feet. Oh yeah, we're walking a mile okay, up. They joke, they say it's a mile down, 10 miles up, right? Yeah. Yeah. Oh my gosh. Well, I hope we're getting close because we are sweating so much. How are we doing, Abby? It feels really good. We're on, it feels good for our legs. Like we feel like we're getting a crazy good workout. I just have to pee, so. Abby has oh, to pee really bad. the lens is super fogged up. Yeah, the lens super fogged up. I don't know how to fix it right now because we're in like a rainforesty area. We're just gonna keep hiking, try to get to the top, and then head on to the waterfalls that we're just seeing today, so. <laughs> All right. Everyone's been doing that to us. The destination rock. is on your left, Akaka Falls State Park. Yeah. So we were just on the north side of the island to see Waipio Valley, and now we're on the wet side of the island um, in Hilo to see Akaka Falls. Mm -hmm. And it's been raining a ton. It just calmed down a little bit. But it's just so much more lush on this side, which is what they said. We've got these massive water bottles to help us stay hydrated while we're here. I might need burp. Let's hear it. Let's hear it. I'm not gonna burp on camera. Three, two, one. <laughs> Ew! We just reparked our car because we noticed there was a five dollar parking fee, and if we parked outside the gates, we don't get charged five bucks. So apparently, there's another waterfall here too that we didn't know about. Okay, it's called like Hakayuna Falls or something. I'm probably totally butchered that name. But yeah, we'll have to check that one out too. Yeah, that's absolutely incredible. That's so beautiful. You can't really see it on camera how pretty it is because there's so many different like light angles coming in that mess up the view, but 
It's insane. That waterfall, Akaka Falls, is twice the height of Niagara Falls. Crazy stuff. And fish float, or fish yeah. swim up the falls. There's these tiny little fish that'll swim up the waterfall. Like literally while the water's falling, they swim That's up. insane. We are here at the Hilo Farmer's Market. We're gonna go check it out and hopefully try some cool stuff. Yeah. That one is a shrimp. Color, pepper. You don't like something that? I give you $2, that, no water. All right, so we are done at the farmer's market. The Hilo farmer's market, it was delicious. They had much better prices actually than the grocery store. Yeah. Um, we got all this for 12 bucks. We got a pre-made, like some sort of Asian style meal. It looks really delicious. We're gonna eat it pretty soon. And then we got these apple bananas. What are they called? Yeah, they're called apple bananas. They're apple not like bananas. a mix but they are just like really sweet little bananas. They're sweet, they have a unique flavor, kind of slightly like an apple, I would say, a little bit, eh. but they taste more like bananas than apples. Someone said the prices were high at the farmer's market and that's just not true. Yeah, I mean, compared to home, yes, but compared to the grocery store, no. Huh. Really tasty. And then the shrimp, we just realized we have to peel it because it's all, oh! Babe. Sorry. Whoops. A piece of lettuce. Oh wow, that's lettuce. I think this There's is more favorite. volume of water on that one. Holy cow, I think this is my favorite so far. We're pretty close to this waterfall, so that's really neat. Okay, so we decided to freaking send it and go to Mauna Kea after having a warm, sunny day. But now it's 50 degrees because we've gained a crap ton of elevation. We're at the visitor center for Mauna Kea and we have to go walk in and talk to somebody, I guess, to, for them to make sure that we're good to go to the top. Now we're gonna put our jackets on because it's cold and talk sure to somebody. I'm not sure you can go past this point without four wheel drive. You might be right. We might have to talk to somebody. Let's. We're gonna go do this and we're gonna figure some stuff out. We are at the Mauna Kea Visitor Center and we are about to Super go bright. to the top. We made friends because we do not have four wheel drive and therefore we cannot take our rental car to the top. But we're gonna go up there, it's gonna be beautiful and we've been, we've been hanging out here because the altitude has been crazy. Um, we're at like 9,000 feet and it can affect your decision making skills and stuff. So we're just chilling, drinking water and it can make you yeah. sick too. So now we're gonna go grab our hotel beach towels so that we can use them as blankets when we're freezing our butts off because we're already cold but it's only 9,000 feet right now. We're about to like be at 13,000, something the crazy. Wind is gonna get insane. Um, the oxygen level is gonna drop 40% and we're already above the clouds, so it's gonna be insane. I might be the only person in shorts today. <laughs> Are you wearing shorts? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Summit by the observatories and everything. That's probably a big drop off. I don't want to get close to that. Yeah. You can't really see anything because it's all covered by clouds. <laughs> oh my gosh. It's like 25 degrees. Ah. Word of advice don't do this hike in shorts. No. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Abby, I'm like ice cold right now. Are you are you ice cold? Yeah. You guys cold? Freezing. Freezing my booty off. Woo! Oh my God. I have to start heading down because sure. of the weather conditions. Okay. The road is now closed. Okay, thank you. Thank you. So cold. It's so cold. It's so freaking cold. Oh, Daddy, I just want to get in the car. Oh. Now I have to go to the bathroom too. Oh, yeah. I also kind of feel lightheaded. Like, it's like, it's so I do feel like, do you guys feel lightheaded? Yeah, for sure. I feel like I just stood up really fast. Yeah. That was absolutely incredible. It was cold, if you can't tell by my red nose. It was, it was blowing so hard up there. Super, super The ranger cold. was like, you guys need to go. It was really foggy. I feel like there's been a lot clearer sunsets there, but... 
I'm still really glad we got to say that we went. It was a busy, full, fun day. Oh, yeah. Well, we'll see what tomorrow brings. Thanks for watching. Let's see what the next day brings here on the big island of Hawaii. Woohoo! Ooh, ooh. Yep. Bye! Bye!